Can we start with Kevin De Bruyne? Is he ready? Could he make his return against Burnley this weekend? Uh, yeah. And will he start? I don't know. I don't know if he's able to play 90 minutes, but uh, he trained really well the last two weeks. He has not been, so he's ready to be part of the group. How much of a boost is it to have him back, and what does it say about the way the team has performed this season that they've done so well without him? Well, he's uh, an so important player for us. So every player is out. I like when they come back because as much we are, the stronger we will be. So, and of course, Kevin, he's no doubt how important it is for us. He's for us. Two goals for Raheem Sterling in midweek for England. Does that show his strength of character, the way that he's come through for England? And has he elevated his game to another level this season? Because he scored one game, two goals. But he's responded well to the criticism with his performances the throughout. The criticism when he played in England is for one year or two years. So no change for a score of two goals. Uh, his mentality now is stronger than before. He was stronger in the World Cup. I think my point of view, he plays so good, so well. In terms of the movements, created spaces for Lingard, Dele Alli, for Hurricane, for the other guys. So it was important. Of course, it's in players, the strikers, the people who play in front, uh, it's important for them to score the goals. But uh, the value, the character, the personality, not depends about if one day you score two goals, it's now you are stronger than before. So he remains a good player before and after and and the most important thing he knows twenty three years old still can do better. And still can improve his games and uh, and it's important not just for him, for England, you know, to win these kind of games. Joe Hart's return to Manchester City this weekend. Do you ex expect to see him inspired by that and how pleased are are you that he's managed to to find a home and recapture his best form at Burnley? Well, I think Joe is no doubt how important was and is because I think tomorrow we will see how we appreciate our fans, our people, uh, what he has done in this club. So uh, what this club always is, what it is, is of course for the people from Abu Dhabi, invest, you know, build something special in the facilities and invest money to, to, to get another another point. But immediately after that is the quality of the players they had in this period, in these 10 years. And, and Joe is part of that. There's no doubt about that. And Thierry Henry, named as the new Monaco manager this week, he called you his reference point at his press conference on Wednesday. Have you spoken to him, offered him any advice? Do you expect him to be a success in his first job? I wish him, of course, I wish him all the best. It was uh, my old player in Barcelona and uh, with all the players I had and especially the nice guys, I deserve it. I want the best for him. It's, uh, it's a huge experience to start in, when he started almost like a, as a football player in Monaco and he was going to do well. So he took over. Uh, right now, Monaco is not in the, in the, in the good position, but uh, I think he's going to, to do it well. He's a young manager, and, and I wish him all the best. And sooner or later, we're going to find each other uh, on the bench. Hi, Pat. Uh, I just wanted to ask about Jaden Sancho. He obviously made his debut for England. Um, a lot of people have praised him for leaving City to, to go to Germany in search of uh, more game time. Does that affect your plans at all in terms of bringing players through with German clubs looking at uh, Premier League players now, young Premier League players? Well, and, and English teams look uh, Spanish players and Spanish players look uh, Italian players, English players. So there's one edge when, the, when you cannot control them and that that's can happen, yeah. So we know what we have done with, with uh, uh, Jadon in terms of we wanted. We did absolutely everything. He decided to move on to Germany, all the best. So he's doing really well. So he started his career and hopefully he can achieve what uh, he was looking for. And, uh, and the best is a good sign for the England, a young player is going there because it's, it's so important for the future. And I'm glad he's playing well. And he played good the minutes he played against the, I don't know the team, the first team. 
Um, so, all the best. And obviously, he was someone who was very highly rated by the club. Is would it be possible that he could come back here in the future, or is he? Is he I don't know. Football, you never say no, but uh, I don't know. I think when he decides to move on from here, it's because he doesn't want to be here. And when he doesn't want to be here, no, he wanted to be here. When he doesn't want to be here, I think he's not looking forward to come back here. So that is what I think right now. But maybe in the future, new club, new managers, or I don't know what happened. Football, you never know. Hi, Pep. Andy Hampson from the Press Association. Um, can I just ask you about the other team news, please? Um, Fabian Delph and um, Ilkay Gundogan have been injured recently. How are they? Gundogan is not uh, fit, he's not able, and Fabi is, is, is training with us, with, like Kevin. Oh, so, so Fabian is back in contention yeah, to play? Yeah, in contention. Yeah. How long do you expect Ilkay to be, to be absent? Uh, Fabi? No, Ilkay, how, how long are you expecting him uh, to be out for now? I don't know, two or three weeks, one week, two weeks, I don't know exactly the right dates. <laughs> Hi, Pep, Ian Beto, ISN TV. What type of game are you expecting? What what do Burnley offer in opposition? Always was a tough, tough game since uh, I came here. Uh, they are a master to the, you know, for the long ball, second ball, they are so strong. What they do, they do it, I said many times with my colleagues, Sean Dyke, so they do it really well. When we defend, and if we have to defend a lot of time in our box, we will, we will suffer because Barnes, Volks, and the other ones, they are so strong. We have to avoid to make, uh, you know, not necessary falls because in the falls, in the set pieces, they are stronger. So uh, physicality is a... Uh, he didn't start like last season because always playing in uh, Europa League is always two competitions, always, you know, you're a little bit distracted and play two or three games a week. When you are n not used to, always difficult. But once they focus in the, you know, in the one competition, the Premier League, he came back what normally they are. And always a little bit doubts about after international break how we are going to come back for the routine for the people how come back for the long trip for the international games. But you know, game to try to to come back because after that we had the trouble to Donuts and. We have to start again as quick as possible for our rhythm and our game. Do you think their involvement in the Europa League has, has, has hindered them or will it help them further down the line? Well, I think I think always helped to play in Europe, to play in Europe for the club itself, for, for the players, for the managers. It, it's so important. Of course, it's more demanding, not just physicality, especially mentally. You know, when you have to three for the recovery, you start again, always you are fresh. And sometimes it's hard, but if you want to, you know, take maybe next step like a club, or it's good. It's a, it's a good point. I think always it's an advantage that to play these kind of competitions.